Anke my art. Um, so, first of all, tonight is the full moon, and um, I decided to do my live a little late, um, just to kind of be in with the new moon energy. So, um, first thing I want to start out with, oh, sorry about that, is a quote from Egyptian Proverbs, or Kemetic Proverbs. Um, so the first one is on page, I'm sorry, 58. It's the section that says on self-reliance. So do not rely exclusively on the oracle for guidance. Sometimes it is necessary for us to live our lives for ourselves and not to lean too heavily on the minds who, after all, have their own thing to do. If the Neturu, in their wisdom, see fit to deny us access to outer time, then it is usually because of some decision made by our own free will or spirit, maybe even prior to entering the body. So um, I wanted to start with that simply because of um, what the new moon is about, uh, or this particular new moon is about. I'm not new moon, sorry. Full moon is about. So um, for those who are not as familiar, and um, I myself, I'm still learning about the different moon phases and things to do and things like that. Um, so I've been on Instagram like almost all day and on the internet all day just kind of researching and um, trying to make sure I'm in alignment with all of the energies. So the first thing that came to my mind is uh, as a chem, I, I definitely want to take a spiritual bath today. Um, the other thing was I definitely have an early bedtime. My bedtime is usually any time between like 9.30 and 10.30, maybe 11. So um, I really wanted to come in with the actual full moon energy. So I know the full moon uh, on the East Coast comes or begins at 10.34 and it continues and it reaches its full moon or blood moon um I guess it reaches the where where it's supposed to be at I believe if I'm not mistaken 1212 so um, I wanted to start the live to just kind of get in and be in accordance with that energy so hence why it's late but then I also wanted to kind of just talk about a couple of the tools and then obviously spend, finish out with my own spiritual work um, by 1212 so um, the first thing, or the second thing rather, that I wanted to do is kind of go over what this new moon, I'm not, I keep saying new moon, this full moon is about. So uh, one person that I love, 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 love following on Instagram is Law of Positivism. And a lot, you'll see like a lot of their stuff looks kind of like that where it has like the half and it'll kind of tell you what's going on and then some type of image. So, um... If you don't mind, I will read for a little bit. Um, it says, Super full moon in zero degrees of Leo will be exact at 12, 12 a.m. Yeah, go me for remembering. Uh, Eastern time. And it's the last eclipse in the Leo Aquarius axis. Uh, it is time for completion and release. The sun, moon, and the nodes of the moon align with the earth and create a perfect line that eclipses out the lunar light. The moon and fiery Leo puts the individual in the spotlight and asks us to show the world our unique essence. As the eclipse is close to the North Node, our Dharma, we are asked to let go and step into our authentic and unique individual selves. So it goes on to say um, that the energy has been pretty intense this past week. Um, I myself, since I'm still doing my 21-day cleanse, um everything has kind of been intense <laughs> so I guess that's kind of a good thing that I didn't necessarily notice that big of an intense change so yeah go me 
Um, but for others, it says it could have felt like tension, thoughts, visions, emotional ups and downs. Um, it says that today's full moon, super moon, blood moon, and lunar eclipse in zero degrees of Leo. Uh, it could be more intense and life changing. The sun has moved into the innovative group oriented Aquarius and the opposition between the moon and the sun ask us to create more balance between the self and the group mentality. When the moon is in Leo, it gives a fiery energy and focus on self, our heart, our joy, our inner child, our creativity is kind of brought to the forefront. Um, the moon opposing the sun in Aquarius, it also highlights the need for importance of individuals in the collective and in groups in order for us to be of true service to others. So um, I'm going to stop there. If you really wanted to kind of read their whole um, interpretation of this moon, again, their, law, their name is law underscore of underscore positivism. And again, I really find them very helpful. Uh, so how do I figure that, take that information and apply it as a chemite? So the first thing that I think of as far as the journey that I'm on and the things that I'm trying to work on is obviously it said, you know what, you need to release. So, um, when, one of my intentions for tonight was to go to a full moon circle, um, which I've been wanting to go to for so long and I finally got to go and it was just amazing. I loved it. Um, I am hoping <laughs> because I do work very often during the week. I do hope that I'm able to participate more. Um, it was an amazing group, an amazing experience. I would thoroughly recommend it. Um, if you have one by you to participate in one, <coughs> excuse me. Um, if not, if you are in the tri-state area, New Jersey, New York, uh, Connecticut, I thoroughly recommend Rock Collage. At, um, they are in Teaneck, and they, it was an amazing experience. Um, and that's what I'm going to say about that because, you know, you kind of really get into some things. So, um, And I've heard, or it was mentioned, that each one is different, so I don't necessarily want to say certain things and then people have expectations and things like that. So um, one thing that I got out of it is um, my needing to be much more devoted to um, Netter and the Netteru. So, um, and the way that that kind of came to me is that uh, within my own personal life readings, uh, my three Netteru are Oset, Ra, and Hetheru. So, um, tonight as I get ready to take a spiritual bath, I have, um, uh, I put a set on one side and I actually am putting Nebit Het because in my mind, the idea of clear, clearing things out and releasing things is definitely like a Nebit Het energy. So I want the devotion and nurturance of Oset. I want the support of clearing out any negativity or any things that, it, that are bad for me with Nebit Het, so I put the two sisters uh, next to each other. And then, uh, actually, now that I think of it, I'm probably going to switch two candles in their position uh, because it's a, you know, rectangle. So, and then on my right shoulder, I had put Ra because, obviously, he's one of my Neturu, but also um, the idea of that creativity and that, that solar energy is something that I feel like I really need in my life. And um, this season has kind of keep, it keeps bringing that to me. Um, and then I put Het Haru on the other side. But I think I'm going to switch them just because of the whole um, Oset, Ra, her finding out his secret name and the pathology and things like that. So just in case, I'm going to switch Het Haru and Ra um, for myself. Uh, in the bath, I put, um, there are two Epsom salts that I have two Epsom salt blends. So one is for love and hope. It is, uh, it has like rose buds in it. And, um, oh gosh, if I'm not mistaken, oh golly, I'm trying to remember it. It's hibiscus. And then, uh, with the rock salt. And then the other mix I have is lavender, 
um, and sage with rock salt. So I put both of those in and then I put essential oils. So um, I use usually Young Living. So I put Peace and Calm and I put Acceptance and it's another brand. I, I forget the name of it, but it's, it's called Balance. So I put that all in the water and it's actually sitting in there because I usually run all of the hot water. So I'm just kind of letting it sit so I can, um, eventually get in there and not burn myself um so anyway uh that's the intention with the bath now um i wanted to kind of go over just in general things that people could work on and again i said i've been researching like all day so i wanted to kind of start with this so this is from soul guidance on instagram and it says for tonight's full moon eclipse um, it's time for cleansing and letting go. So specifically it says letting go of outdated and harmful beliefs, regrets and guilt from the past, fear of the unknown or fear of the future, let go of people who hurt your heart and soul, let go of negative and limiting thought patterns, um, what are, things that can't be fixed or changed, anything or anyone weighing us down, unrealistic images, so, um... I th that really spoke to me as far as, again, the different things that I'm trying to release and work on. Um, and I really like the ending part, and this is what made me want to save it, was the idea or the concept that it says, it's now time to quit hiding your magic, apologizing for who you are, shrinking to fit into small spaces. Um, just in general, leave all of that alone, let it go, and just get rid of it. So um, when we did the full moon circle tonight that's one part that I really like and I've seen a lot of different people say that like whatever it is you're trying to get rid of write it down on a piece of paper and um, burn it so that you can just be rid of it um, depending on what different people are working on you might want to utilize other tools such as affirmations so that's something that I uh, wanted to specifically uh, work on today too for myself so in addition to um, saying affirmations, I'm going to definitely go over the 42 while I'm in the bath so that any, and I'm going to do the PM version. So it's the idea of anything that maybe I might not have been able to do, I can release it into the water and just let it go down the drain. Um, ooh, I picked the wrong thing. The other thing that I really liked um, about this is this is an opportunity to utilize EFT so <coughs> excuse me for those who are not familiar it's also called tapping so it's the idea of trying to reprogram yourself um, from whatever negativity you're trying to um, let go of so along with uh, I will be using the release oil from Young Living and um, I will be putting it like on my forehead, on my temples, like kind of on my neck. And then I'll be breathing it, doing like alternate nostril breathing. Um, depending on how it goes, maybe fire breaths, but I don't want to do too much because, you know, sometimes, especially when using the release oil, you want to use it very sparingly because um, it definitely does what it says it's going to do. So, um, if you have the opportunity to use release oil, I would definitely recommend using just one drop and kind of trying to spread it around. Don't use too much because, you know, especially if you've been holding on to a lot of different things, you might want to take your time. Um, yeah, because <laughs> like I said, sometimes letting everything go might turn into something bigger. And if you're a beginner, um, I definitely want to just kind of put that out there. Be careful. Uh, same thing with the spiritual baths. Just kind of start start uh, smaller. You don't have to have 50 million oils uh, like I do. You don't have to have 50 million types of salt or anything like that. It's really just kind of, um, you know, what you uh, can stand. Um, I think along with that, some of the affirmations that I found... Um, some of them have to do with uh, your 
your astrological signs and I thought that was pretty cool because I've never really seen specific affirmations for specific moons um, before so I thought that was really neat um, and something worth trying because again you know different moons have different energies and different things that need to be shifted and moved uh, so I try to be open-minded but I try to stay as center to um, comedic beliefs I try not to go off too far uh, just because um, yeah I just try to stick to like the authentic meanings of the wisdom text and the ancestors so one of the affirmations that I really liked uh, it says I open to the changes that are far my highest good I open my heart to courage and strength I know that things are always working out for me I put my focus on the good things that are coming. I trust in the unfolding. I am supported fully by the universe. So that's one. Um, the other one that I said I really liked that had to do with the um, the different uh, astrological signs. It's put out, out by the auric life. So it looks... Oop, let me move it down. It looks like that. And I guess I could definitely repost it when I put this video up. Ooh, look, it's, it looks all red. Like, what it's going to look like. Like, the moon's going to look in a minute. Not in a minute, in like two hours. So, it says, Aries. Um, I want. And it says, I am fully blessed and loved at all times. Taurus. Every time I speak my truth, I allow more love into my life. Gemini. Amazing opportunities are always flowing into my life. Cancer, I choose to see things from a different perspective to free myself. Leo, I am grateful for who I am and all the blessings around me. Virgo, ooh, ooh. <laughs> there, is nothing, there is no wrong decision. Everything is right on track. Man, if you're a Virgo, that hits home. Anywho. Uh, Libra, I choose to make my mark on the world and it is beautiful. Scorpio, I believe in my skills and power to succeed. Sagittarius, I choose to give myself love and compassion every day. Capricorn, I honor my commitment to myself. Aquarius, I choose faith over fear. And Pisces, I choose kind and love over anger, ego, I'm sorry, anger and ego daily. So um, definitely tonight, um, I anticipate using the specific Virgo affirmation along with the EFT. So after I put on the different oils and I'm, I'm breathing them in, I'm doing my deep breathing, um, I would like to start off with the even though I, whatever, uh, I deeply and truly love and accept myself or I deep and truly uh love and heal myself like whatever however you want to end your um your saying uh and then after that usually what i do is i'll go into meditation but um i plan on doing the affirmation with my prayer beads um i want to do them four times i'm going to do them four times around just for wholeness and completeness and then when i get in the bath that is when I'm going to turn on um, the high vibe or the vibrations um, and the different meditation and just kind of meditate on whatever it is that I need to do and whatever it is that I need to release, whatever's left on me, just kind of get it off, let it go into the water. Um, so that's my plan for tonight for the full moon. Um, I figured it was worth sharing. Just because, again, a lot of what's out there can often be like new age or just a mix of a whole bunch of different things. So I wanted to try to give a little bit of a um, comedic insight onto that. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, I think the only other thing that I would want to do tonight would be to add in the Amasu and Panatir. Sawek Sulamente and Panatir Aoudwa Maketi Paheru. 
So um, I give myself to the netter daily. I keep myself for netter daily and may tomorrow be as today. So, um, and again, that's part of at least this full moon. That's what I know I need. I need to constantly remind myself that devoting myself to the natural root and devoting myself and doing the work will only make everything I want to happen actually happen. Um, and that's actually where, um, and I received that message when I was at the full moon circle earlier. It's just like, you know what you need to be doing. You know all the different tools. You know, you know, where you want to be, but if I'm not putting in the work, the ancestors are not going to work for me. The Neturu are not going to, you know, they're going to be like, well, we gave you all the plans. We gave you all the tools and you just chilling like you ain't really listening. And, you know, that really means a lot to me, especially because I am a teacher. So, um, and the end of the marking cycle is coming and <laughs> I've given chances and chances and chances and chances. And it's like, okay, well, eventually you need to learn to be responsible. So spiritually, getting hit on the wrist, getting hit upside the head, or, you know, hopefully for others, it's not as, as much, but it's this idea that, you know, the natural are always conspiring for our greatest good and to give us what it is we want. But we have to be able to get over the intellectualizing. We need to get over all of the life distractions and actually just do the work, like sit down at the altar, do your dua'u, or your prayers, do your meditations, do your um, aligning of your arits, do, you know, reading, and, and not just reading, like I said, scholarly things, but reading the wisdom text and connecting with the naturu and what the wisdom is that they have for us to have what it is we want. So um, with that... It is time to get my spiritual work together. I hope that this was helpful. And um, again, I will see you all next Sunday. And if you have any questions, comments, topics you would like me to talk about, um, either you can email me, send me a DM, or when I put it up on YouTube, leave it in the comments. And that's it. So I hope everyone has a blessed week. I will see you all next week. Uh, Dua and Shamiyam Hatat. This thing is not turning off. <laughs>